So I decided that I wanted to write my fourth book on climate change and sea level rise. I started to interview scientists to learn about the science and how I could communicate it effectively. I interviewed homeowners and business owners to try to tell their story. Hi, I'm Delaney Reynolds, the founder and CEO of the Sink or Swim Project, and today I'm here in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Hope for Action Summit led by the Jane Goodall Institute and Roots and Shoots. And today I just finished up a panel discussion with a bunch of other absolutely inspiring youth change makers where we all talked about the different work that we're doing. Um, and I'm curious from your perspective, how is it different when you're in a like a commissioner's meeting talking to you know, a, a, most likely an older person um, versus writing a kid's book and trying to give the same information in a different light in a different way. How do you how do you approach that? Yeah, so it's it's different where I'm able to connect with you all in the audience right now because we're similar in age and we can talk very casually about climate change and environmental issues and I can kind of be on your same level. But when you're talking to adults, it's a little bit harder because they may have this preconceived notion of, oh, you're a kid, what do you know? Um, but I have worked on different policy projects starting since I was 14 years old. And what I can tell you is that even though you are very young, and even though you cannot vote, you can still have a major impact and have a voice when it comes to implementing solutions through policy work. I've been doing that since, like I said, I was 14 years old. Um, I've worked at the county level to create a chief resilience office in Miami-Dade County and to create funding. I wrote a law for the city of South Miami when I was 16 years old. Um, I've sued the governor of the state of Florida and his cabinet for not upholding. <laughs> duties that are outlined in our constitution and something called the public trust doctrine and I've worked with the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services to write a rule that was implemented in 2022 setting renewable energy goals for our state for the first time ever and I have some more projects coming up uh, that are really exciting but all that to say I'm 14 I'm 15 I'm 16 I'm 17 I can't vote but I can make an impact in policy and no matter what your age is you can too where, where can everybody follow you? Sure. Um, you can check out my website, miamiseerise.com, and then it's at miamiseerise on all social media.